Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to what is going to be the start of the never ending kit. So um, I went ahead and put myself a little list together of things that I wanted to put in my kit. Um, this is the never ending kit because this will be a kit that grows and changes uh, throughout the time that I use it. It'll be interesting to see uh, what it turns into, right? Um, this is going to be a year long project uh, for me and I'm hoping it's going to be a year long project. Uh, I won't be using it every single month, which is why I think it's going to be a year long project. Uh, like the month of May, I'm going to be doing Magical May with lots of Disney layouts. So um, I'm going to be using some Disney collections for that. So anyway, Chamel's main character energy, right? Um, and there is a coupon code for the Scrapping Reflections website. Um, it is the code NEVER, N-E-V-E-R, and it is good on all American Crafts products in the American Crafts section. Um, so it's got Chamel main character energy and um, some other bits in there as well. Um, so if you want to get your hands on some of this stuff at a discount, you can go ahead and do that. Um, so the things I felt like I needed, besides the stuff that I have from Chamel's main character energy, um, I need some cardstock, some coordinating papers, because I don't want to just use this. I want die cuts, 12 by 12 stickers, my smaller stickers, ribbon, stamps, letter die sets, uh, because I'm on a mission to use them. Um, so I'm going to pick two. Um, metals, florals, acrylic wood, embellishment cart. So I have a cart of embellishments over here. It has like tickets and chipboard and and staples and bags and and enamel dots and tiny words and all of those things so that was just like get some stuff off the cart washi and then of course some stencils now i'm not pulling out like the actual mixed media stuff that is consumable so i'm not pulling out glazes i'm not pulling out paints i'm not pulling out any of that stuff um because that isn't something that i am like using up to use up and get rid of. Um, I do want to use it up, but I don't want to limit myself with that stuff. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. So um, I'm going to show you um, the Chamel main character energy stuff that I have. Um, it is not the entire collection. Um, and that's just because I have turned into a non entire collection uh, kind of person. Uh, because I do get the most joy and satisfaction out of mixing my things. So, um, like I said, this is not the entire collection. And I've pretty much used up my sticker sheet from this collection already. Um, so I don't have that. But let me show you what I do have. I do have the purple glitter thickers, you guys. Look at these. These are gorgeous. And this was an exception to my buying no more thickers rule. Um, because they're purple glitter and I had to have them. Could I have bought purple foam in the store and cut them out myself? Yes, but I had to have these. So we've got those. I also have the enamel stickers. Um, it's got some gold glitter and the colors. These are enamel embellishments. There's some sequins, some enamel dots, um, and enamel uh, over wood buttons. I have the six by eight paper pad and it has 36 sheets in it. And there is a variety of things. There's some cut aparts, there's smaller versions of the papers. Um, there's some gold foil in there. Um, that one is horrible, but you know, we won't talk about that. Um, and it duplicates itself. So I have that. Um, and then these are the papers I have. So I have Starring Roll, um, this one, which is Sunshine Guaranteed, uh, this one, Ensemble Cast, uh, this one, Behind the Scenes, this one, Line Leader, this one, Center Stage, uh, this one, Prop Table, this one, Bright Future, this one, After Hours, this one, Right on Target, this one, Love This, no troubles sing out uh, one of a kind which is i've cut into um, and then these are other 
papers that I have bought recently that I was going to bring in. So I will show you guys those when I show you the entire kit. And then I have the vellum sheet, which I kind of bent up a little bit, but that's okay. So this is the Shemaine main character energy uh, stuff that I have, and then I'll be bringing in all of the other things, and I'm just going to go through my list. I'm going to put out my papers, and then I'm going to go through my list of things to see what I think will coordinate and match, and then I'll come back and show you guys the entire kit. So let's see what I can do. All right, guys, I am back. I have a ridiculous amount of supplies pulled out for this kit, and I do mean ridiculous. So this right here is an older Ikea desk organizer. Um, it is old. I actually cut out one of these bad boys right here and covered it with washi tape. You can no longer get this. Um, I had plans to head over to Ikea today and look for some fun storage solutions. Um, but Christopher has hurt his back recently and, um, he just really wasn't doing good. So we came home and I decided I would um, make do with this and maybe when I go to Ikea later, I might switch it out, right? Cheers, we are having some uh, wine this afternoon. So, <laughs> you guys, this is a ungodly amount of stuff, okay? Um. Yeah, I need, I need to move this. Um, I need to move this so you can actually uh, see the papers. Hold on. All right, I'm back and I cleared off the stuff. So as you guys can see, I have my Chamel papers here. I went ahead and pulled card socks that I thought would coordinate. And then I went and pulled papers. So I'm going to show you the sides that I chose. This is Chamel Never Grow Up. This is Maggie Holmes' uh, Round Trip. This is Vicki Booten Sweet Rush. I'm just going to tell you guys, I mostly picked American Crafts papers, and I think they coordinate really well together, you guys, because it's American Crafts, so I'm sure they use the same colors. That's Heidi Swap Sun Chaser. This is Heidi Swap Sun Chaser. This is Vicki Booten. Oh, no, 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 it's not. This is Bow Bunny Beautiful Things. This is Vicky Booten Sweet Rush. This is Heidi Swap Sun Chaser. This is Vicky Booten Sweet Rush. This is Bo Bunny Beautiful Things. This is an old one. This is Amy Tan's Picnic in the Park. This is a Paige Evans. Which one is this? It just says Paige Evans. Splendid. It's splendid. Um, this is Glitter Girl with the coffee cups. This is Close to My Heart. This is Close to My Heart. This is uh, Coco Vanilla Studio. Coco Vanilla Studio. Uh, Coco Vanilla Studio. And this is um, Fancy Pants. So, as you can see, I went alphabetically and did not get past... F for fancy pants. I figured I had a lot of paper um, and my kit wasn't going to ever change if I had so much paper uh, like that. So like I said, I, have, I mean, this is a lot of paper, you guys. This is probably the biggest kit I have ever uh, put together. So holy Moses, I've got a lot to get through. I mean, look at all this paper. That is a ridiculous amount of paper. Okay, so we got the papers. Like I said, it's going in to there now. So papers are in there. I'm going to move my trimmer and put this right off to the side so I can kind of build the kit. Um, plus we had this cut apart sheet and my um, specialty paper. So we'll put that in there as well because, you know, that goes in there. And I've got a bunch of other stuff. So we're going to uh, go through that. So these are the sticker sheets that I went and got. Um, I literally went through my list right here and just went through the things. So my 12 by 12 sticker sheets, I've got Echo Park Summer Fun, 
Simple Stories Going Places and Bella Boulevard Sweet Sweet Spring. So some of these are uh, old. Um, I picked this because it has the purple letters and enough of things on here that I could use even though it has a lot of Easter stuff, um, which I don't scrapbook a lot of. So those, we'll leave those out for right now. Um, then I have my other ones. So I have Simple Stories, Simple Vintage Essentials because they're black and white and I figured those could be really usable. I've got Summer Lovin'. I picked these up at Joann's. There's some chipboard shapes. I got two packs of those. I've got this Gossamer Blue sticker sheet. I've got the hearts, the arrows, and the stars. I want to get these completely used up. I've got Simple Stories Sweet Talk. It's got some love stuff on there. Um, some black and white Freckle Fawn. Some Rosie Studio Unconditional, which is in the Scrapping Reflection shop. Um, Simple Stories. This is Married, just Married. Um, but there's enough things in there that will work. Um, I've got the Rosie Studio Puffy Hearts, also in the Scrapping Reflection shop. Um, a, a variety of um, stickers. They're not Gossamer Blue. Like these are Chamel. Um, these are Freckle Fawn, these are um, Jelly Bean Soup, I think, like there's a variety of them there. I've got some um, black and white and gold. Most of this is the Wander uh, sticker sheet. I think there's some other things thrown in there as well. I've got Rosie Studio Keeping Cool puffy stickers in the Scrapping Reflection shop. Also the Rosie Studio Nature's Gift puffy, puffy stickers also in the Scrapping Reflection shop. Got some Ellie Studios gold and uh, gold hearts and stars. I've got the Better Together chipboard embellishments. These are hearts with words uh, from Rosie Studio in the Scrapping Reflection shop. Um, I've got some thickers. These are Home Sweet Home. Um, I think this is a Paige Evans uh, collection. So we've got those. I've also got Sunshine, lots of pink stickers there. Uh, these are Rosie Studios stickers. These are This Is Us, also in the Scrapping Reflection shop, along with these uh, words from Nature's Gift, Scrapping Reflection shop. I've got these gold feathers. I found the rest of my Chamel Main Character Energy sticker sheet. Um, I thought I had used way more than I did. I've got a lot on here. Um, and let's be real, the butterflies won't get used, but if I could use everything on here uh, besides the butterflies, I would count that as a huge win. I also decided to bring in this one, which is the Fifth and Monaco sticker sheet. I love this collection when it came out from Pink Paisley, and I think this is the second sticker sheet, or maybe I got the sticker sheet later after I had used most of the collection, but I thought the colors would be great. Um, I have these Ellie Studio Adventure chipboard stickers. I've also got some uh, gold hearts from one of those. I've got a couple of bows left over. Um, so those are going to be the stickers. Now my ribbon. Let's see if I can find where I chucked that. So I think I will go ahead and get these bad boys Placed. I mean, you guys, this is a ridiculous, ridiculous amount of, um, of product for one kit. I mean, this is insanity. I'm not even joking. Okay, so ribbon. I decided to go with this lace uh, bit right here. I've got these pearls, um, and then I've got this blue... Um, blue ribbon right here. It's kind of like an embroidered type thing. I think that might be, nope, I've got one more. I also have a black ribbon because I'm bringing in elements of black and white. And I do just want to mention that the, um, the black and white cards, I will have, hi, I will have, um, black and white cardstock and khaki cardstock in this kit that I am not going to talk about. Um, my husband just walked in, so I'm going to take a break and I'll show you the rest of the kit in a moment. Okay. Um, so now let me show you the stamps I brought in. I actually brought in a couple, uh, wooden stamps. So I have this one and this one. 
And then I have these bad boys, which are kind of what I keep right by my side. They're little bits that I like to add on um, that add little things. So I have those. And then I also have these Brutus Monroe um, abstract art stamps to, again, background stuff. So I have those stamps. Those are the only ones that I pulled out because I don't really have a clear direction um, on what photos I'm going to be scrapbooking. I feel like I'm going to be scrapbooking some Leavenworth photos, um, but that's how I'm feeling. Um, I also have my letter die set. So I have this uh, die set, which I don't remember the brand. And then I have this one, which is Tim Holtz. And then I also decided to bring in this Sizzix Sizzlets Limelight. Um, I love these Sizzlet boxes, the other Sizzlet boxes um, that came out. I was not that big of a fan of this is definitely an improved design. So I have these next we ha and I said I was only going to bring in two, but I knew I wanted these and I couldn't decide between the big ones and the block ones. So I went with both. So I brought in three um, metals. Okay, my metals. This is kind of a hot mess, you guys. So I'm going to pull out the metals that I pulled for this. So I've got those bad boys. Um, these, which I'm gonna, these are actually, um, the nose pieces for face masks. And I know that might seem like a wackadoo kind of thing to use. Um, but I don't care. I thought that they would be kind of awesome in scrapbooking. Um, I've also got some flair, um, that I am pulling out. So let me get the rest of the metals here. couple of those and then obviously some more flare and I think that might be it with oh and self-adhesive brads which you and I both know those aren't brads you and I both know those are metal stickers <laughs> so that's the metal that I have next I have florals and honestly you guys I just grabbed all three of my floral die cuts um, I have two floral die cuts because they don't fit in one and then all of the leaves. So I just grabbed all of them. Um, I didn't feel like going through and picking them out. Um, acrylic. Surprisingly, I did not have as much acrylic as I thought I did. I have this one. It says Outsider. Um, as you can see, it's from MK Shop. Oops. Missed one of the metal arrows. Um, I have some gold um, heart glitter hearts from the Scrapping Reflection Shop. Um, and that's, I mean, I, and then I have these acrylic, uh, things from Brutus Monroe, but that's basically all the acrylic, um, I brought in. Uh, I surprisingly don't have a lot and that is because I guess I've used it, um, because I've had every single scrapping reflections acrylic that's been made. Um, but that's all I have right now. So we have those. Next is wood. So I've got some MK wood, some assemblage required. I've got, that's a freckled fawn. I've got that, a couple hearts, a couple decorative bits here. A love word. And I believe that is all that is all the wood. Okay, so, and then I pulled in stuff from my embellishment cart. So that means enamel dots. These are keeping cool. These are in the Scrapping Reflection shop. I've got some Simple Stories, Let's Get Crafty. Oop, there's another metal piece. I've got some uh, small doilies. I've got some labels, more labels. Got some uh, word phrases from Tim Holtz. I've got the puffy phrase stickers from Rosie Studio, again, in the Scrapping Reflection shop. Um, some pretty little studio tiny words. Some Rosie Studio This Is Us, Us puffy hearts in the Scrapping Reflection shop. Some glow-in-the-dark adhesive gems that were on clearance um, a hot minute ago. These have been on clearance a hot minute, and I bought a lot of them, you guys. So um, I have those. I also have some uh sacks and envelopes i somehow i ended up with one tag um and then i also have this black chipboard which is really old 
um, from Cosmo Cricut. It's 2008. So that is all of the stuff off the embellishment cart. Um, and then I, I forgot about these florals. Uh, these are florals, um, right? Like a little bit left here. And then these from Hobby Lobby. So those are the florals. Next, I pulled in washi. And I got a little excited with the washi, you guys. I don't know why, but I did. Got a bunch of different washies here. So a lot of the washies. Um, back when I did, I forgot to show you um, the die cuts. So I've got a pile of die cuts that I went through. Um, I did pick just the um, all of the florals. I just took all of the florals, but I did go through my die cut boxes and pull out things that I felt would coordinate color wise. There's another one of those metal things. So I have a pile of um, die cuts here, right? And then washi. And then the last thing was stencils. And I decided I'm not going to limit myself with stencils. I love stencils. It is the biggest um, thing that I sell on my website. And I just really don't want to limit myself. So I am going to treat my stencils kind of like as the mixed media stuff, like glazes and mists and things like that. Um, and just use whatever I want. So that is the kit, right? Like that's a monster. That is a lot of stuff. Um, so yeah, we'll see how long it takes me to get through some of this stuff because holy Moses, you guys, like this, this is a lot. So, um, like I said, use that code never for American crafts products. Um, there are Rosie studios products, um, in the shop as well that I pulled out for the kit. Um, so you can pick those up if you're interested in any of the things I shared here as well. And that's, that's the kit. I gotta, I gotta get this all consolidated and in, down into things. This is part of the reason why I want it to go to Ikea today, but you know, <laughs> not today. <laughs> all right, guys, thanks so much for watching. And I will see you guys again real soon for another video.